Han Ho, Han Seok Bong, 1543-1605. A scholar and civil servant of the mid Joseon dynasty who valued elementary studies and was immersed in the interpretation of the Confucian scriptures. He spread Taoism on the basis of Zhushi studies, emphasizing the importance of human education through elementary studies. Academic Contribution Han Ho contributed greatly to the spread of Confucianism based on Zhuzhou studies. He argued that the foundation of human education should be laid through elementary school, which influenced later scholars a lot. His academic works include interpretations and comments on major Confucian scriptures, which are considered important materials for the development of Confucian scholarship during the Joseon dynasty. Social Contribution Han Ho put great emphasis on practical ethics as well as academics. He emphasized the importance of practicing the teaching of studying abroad in life within society. In addition, he put great effort into spreading the importance of education centered on morality and ethics throughout his life, which had a positive effect on many people. The foundation of scholarship lies in refining the heart. The true purpose of learning is not the accumulation of knowledge, but the purification of one's inner self and the realization of moral values. A sincere personality is more precious than all riches. The value of a sincere character is incomparable to all wealth. Learn as much as you can, as long as it does not go against principles. Knowledge and learning hold the greatest value when they align with moral and ethical principles. The wise know their own heart, the virtuous understand the hearts of others. Understanding oneself and others are both essential lessons. Sincerity is the foundation of all virtues. All moral values and virtues stem from sincerity. The path one lives is the path to the future. The direction one chooses in life determines the future. The true value of knowledge is realized when it is put into practice. Knowledge and learning truly matter when applied in daily life. Becoming a moral person is not achieved overnight. Morality and virtue are achieved through continuous self-improvement and effort. Be kind to everyone, but choose your friends carefully. Broad kindness and goodwill should be extended to all, but true friends should be chosen with caution. Knowing one's limits is the beginning of true wisdom. Recognizing one's capabilities and limitations is the first step toward growth and development. Restraint is the first step to freedom. Self-control is the first step towards finding freedom. Habit is a second nature. Repeated actions and habits ultimately shape one's personality and behavior. I read books to live as a human. I continue to study to live as a human being. Humility is the foundation of all virtues. Humility is the basis for developing all other virtues, whereas pride is the beginning of all mistakes. Choose the right path and do not give up even in the face of difficulties. Select the right path and never give up, even when faced with challenges. The future depends on the choices of the present. Our choices today determine our future. Self-improvement is the beginning of self-revolution. Improving oneself is the start of one's own growth. If you fall into water, do not try to beat the water but swim out. When faced with difficulties, do not attempt to overcome them forcefully but find a way to navigate through the problem. Happiness depends on your choices. Our choices dictate our happiness. The greatest enemy is oneself. Our biggest adversary is ourselves. Through scholarship, one can elevate oneself, and through virtue, one can mingle with others. Knowledge and learning are tools for personal growth, while virtue is the key to harmonious social relationships. Wise choices lead to wise outcomes. Smart decisions bring about favorable results. Inner peace does not depend on external circumstances. True peace and contentment come from within, not from external conditions. Honesty is the most certain confidence. Acting and speaking without falsehood is the surest way to confidence. It's never too late to go slowly. Moving slowly does not necessarily mean being late. Live a life of teaching and learning. Always live by teaching and learning. One can teach with words, but should lead by example. True teaching and influence can only be exerted through actual behavior and examples. Wisdom is often found in pain. True wisdom and lessons are often gained through hardship and suffering. Patience is the key to all success. Persistent effort and patience are essential for achieving any goal. Walking the right path is not always easy, but it is the right path. Moral and correct actions might not always be the easiest choices, but they are indeed the right ones.